the flame of love movement in Canada. From its birth to the present day. We're going to tell you about the beginnings of the flame of love movement in Canada. First of all, we'll start by telling you the story of Marcel and the miraculous request he made to the Virgin Mary concerning a message in the little flame of love booklet. When his father died in 1983, he began to experience difficulties and turned to heaven. He implored his father to speak to him from heaven. But at that moment, it wasn't his earthly father who answered him, but rather God the Father, through the Bible. Marcel read the entire Jerusalem Bible at night. Even with physically demanding work. When he came to the Gospels, Jesus touched his heart deeply. This Catholic married couple, with two children is breaking up in pain, because his wife doesn't want to follow him, on this path of purity. Marcel cries out to God in the church of a small country village. He takes refuge with a friend, also named Marcel, who is also separated. This other Marcel is already a very prayerful man, converted several years ago. Prayer is the rule with him. In the morning, they say a rosary together, another at work at lunchtime or on the road. In the evening, they get together for a final rosary. The television is always off, and peace reigns in the house. Marcel received his first little 32-page booklet of the Flame of Love in 1984, at the small store of the journal, Jesus Mary, and Our Time, in Montreal. After a first reading, he fell in love with the Flame of Love of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Jesuit Father Guy Marie Menard publicly consecrated Marcel, and his friend to the Virgin Mary in a church in St. Bruno, on Montreal's South Shore, after three months of instruction. The Jesuit father, Guy Marie Menard, at the House of Jesus in Montreal, had an office and a small store in the reception area. He sold 28-page booklets of the Flame of Love, as well as four-page leaflets, available at the entrance. A few years earlier, Father Menard had discovered the flame of love, and had arranged for thousands of copies to be printed. Marcel had bought hundreds of copies, of his booklets and leaflets. A few weeks later, Father Menard received a formal notice from the owner of a shopping center, to stop putting the leaflets, on car windows. And Father Menard had to ask Marcel to stop. Both were saddened, as the Virgin Mary of the flame of love was not welcomed. In the same year, something extraordinary happened, when Marcel asked the Virgin Mary, to show him what she said in a short message, in the little booklet, dated May 19, 1963. Here's what the Virgin Mary said. In this terrible turmoil currently brewing up, you will see the brightness of my flame of love, illuminating heaven and earth by the effusion of its effect of grace. I am passing on to souls in this dark night. At nightfall, on a starry night, his friend Marcel, asked him to come and look, in his bedroom window. They both saw beautiful white rays coming down around the house, and both went out to see high up in the sky, where these white rays were coming from. And after a few minutes, the white rays spread out around the little village, where they were staying fading away all around towards the horizon. Shortly afterwards, the two Marcel were praying the rosary, of the flame of love in the church. No one was with them. Suddenly, in the peaceful church, the devil appeared. The kneelers were raised to wash the floors. Fifteen or so kneelers began to fall, one after the other with a shattering noise, bang 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 bang. The other Marcel said, let him do it, don't worry about it. He was talking about the devil. In the weeks that followed, more than 25 posters of Jesus and Mary, which Marcel had printed by his friend at work, oozed a thick, brownish, blood-like liquid. Some of these posters are displayed, during an evening of prayer once a month, in a small church on Montreal's south shore. A devout woman, has been looking after these posters, since 1984. 
Here's another poster miracle. Marcel moved to Rimouski, in the Gaspé region of Quebec. He opened a cobbler's shop outside town, to be closer to the sea. One day, he went to see the two posters, which had remained untouched, in his bedroom office, rolled together. He unrolled them and asked the Lord if it was all true, because he doubted. These two posters had not oozed. The posters were intact. He put them back in the dresser and forgot about it. Then, weeks later, he opened the chest of drawers, and what a surprise! The two posters of Jesus and the Virgin Mary, had oozed profusely while being rolled up. Some years later, these posters were handed over to a priest, who was still at the small parish of the house of Second Marcel. All this is revealed because Jesus needs to motivate the members of the flame of love as much as possible. Only one poster had leaked in the house where he lived with the second Marcel. The other posters were distributed to young people in Father Guy Marie Menard's prayer groups. And they used a lot because they were so prayerful. Approximately 25 posters used in Quebec.